Here's a propaganda trick that they've been using successfully for decades. You may not have noticed it before, but I promise you, once you know what to look for, you will see it everywhere and you will never be fooled by it again. It's called hijacking a slogan, and it only requires three simple steps. Step one, they take one of our slogans that have been around for a long time. Step two, they reinterpret it to give it a negative meaning, usually violent or extreme. And then step three, they try to shame us for using it, try to get it censored and try to get it banned. Let's see some examples. The first and most obvious one of the past 30 years has to be Allahu Akbar, God is great. One of the most often repeated phrases that a Muslim uses in every single one of our prayers, we use it when we celebrate. You might ask, well, how can they take something so beautiful and turn it negative? Well, they did. 30 years of Hollywood, news media, propaganda, comedy, all of it associating the beautiful phrase of Allahu Akbar with negativity, terrorism, extremism, suicide bombing, you name it. That wasn't accidental. It was 100% intentional and targeted. It is propaganda. They give your beautiful slogan a new meaning, a negative meaning, and then go on a campaign to delete it and cut you off from your roots. Example number two, what we're seeing today with from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. This is a slogan that has existed for decades. You can look it up yourself. It is a slogan about freedom. And now they're trying to reinterpret it and tell us what we're supposed to believe. And since that meaning is bad, I'm going to go ahead and tell you you can't use it. Like the sheer audacity of it, the sheer arrogance, and the sheer attempt at subjugating other people. Since when does calling for the freedom of a people mean that you want to harm another people? But that's how they do it. And then tell you, hey, since we think it means a bad thing, and they don't actually mean that, they don't actually think that, they just want to control what you're allowed to say and what you're not allowed to say, what you're allowed to think and what you're not allowed to think. This is how they erase your identity slowly. They know that if they cut you off from your roots, you will have no heritage and you will have no source of strength. Don't fall for it. The examples are endless and you can see some of them here and in the captions inshallah. I want you to look for this example in the past. What are some things that they have associated with negativity and then made you and me self-censor and disconnect from that stuff out of fear of being associated with extremism, violence, negativity, terrorism, etc. I wonder how they've been successful in this and how we can start to undo that and reclaim our own meanings and our own beliefs. And I wonder if we're going to be strong enough and wise enough to avoid falling for this in the future. Stay strong and don't become anybody's donkey.